Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in the A to Z series which at the time of this recording is kind of out of place as we're playing the Maxon Expedition because at the time of this recording there's an update for this and several other nations and I figured you know what while the update is new or relatively new I might as well check out the Maxon not chapter but expedition which I have played as before but with a new focus tree for them I figured you know what we can just try out a few different nations as we have the bazaar as well but our departure from the west rising tensions and a desire to secure an eastern foothold an expedition was formed in lost hills sent east to colorado the maxon expedition was sent out uh, set out to form a new chapter of the brotherhood beyond the reach of the californian powers personal log of the expedition is beginning this is paladin commander andrew brixley recording a personal log too to make sure i don't pull as soon as some, this someone knows what happened sitting back in her chair andrew sighs and runs a hand through her short cropped hair going on he begins with we all had high hopes at the start, heading out east. The elder from Los Angeles chose to lead the expedition, Elder Cameron. I uh, was a good leader. Well, to respect him, he had seen plenty of combat. I was chosen to come along, to lead my paladins and knights in case we were attacked. I remember there was a debate over what resources the expedition was give to be given. Large amount of personnel, but not much equipment. Ooh, that's not bad. With a small amount of personnel, but with enough equipment for everybody. Ooh. Ooh, we're going to need some manpower. But advanced energy weapons and T-45D power armor? You know what? Let's go with this one. Snapping at her heels. Scattered and broken, we fled from Denver. The hangdogs and hounds right behind us. The legacy of her defeat hangs heavy over every member of her chapter. Also, if the audio is not like to your liking, please let me know in the comments below. I do or would like some feedback, just in case. Uh, Senator Peterson's bunker. Set alongside a safe haven for his family, now rediscovered by the Brotherhood. The codes given to our founder worked, even after all his time, along to enter the bunker without any incident. Howling and screams. Our arrival in Colorado was without fanfare. The tribes and settlements near to our destination had warned us that our goal was guarded by vicious hounds, the hangdogs. Elder Cameron wasn't a fool, but Andrew's hand clenches into a fist before going on. Uh, none of us knew the scale of the foe we were to face. We had entered Edinburgh, but had only encountered scavengers, no sign of the foe we were told to expect. Some of us were unnerved, but most assumed the raiders had been driven off or destroyed before arrival. A bitter grimace forms on Andrew's face, and she shakes her head back and forth. If only we were so lucky, Andrew says, pausing to collect herself before going on. The first night after we had set ourselves everybody up, we had set ourselves up. We were making every plans for the expedition's first tasks. That was when they attacked. It was a massacre. We were forced to retreat over the river with what little we could carry with us. Hangdog defeat. Our only hope was a bunker. Oh, God, no. Inside the bunker, we found a massive stash of stealth boys, which we used in an attempt to recover our lost brothers. The side effects of these devices were only discovered too late, with well, a large contingent of our forces suffering from paranoid delusions. Our refuge. Elder Cameron had been wounded badly during the battle and retreat, but still managed to lead us southeast. He knew there was a bunker we could take shelter in while we regroup. Shattered and depleted, our expedition fled across the river, the hounds of the hangdogs right behind us. A fighting retreat to a bunker. We hoped it wasn't occupied, for all we knew was destroyed during the Great War. I hoped our luck had finally turned when we arrived and found it not only intact, but still secured and was still stockpiled with supplies. And only one last disaster to nearly destroy us. Madness in the underground. No one is sure how the senator got his hands on a shipment of stealth boys, but the elder thought we could use them to scout across the river and find ourselves more of our scattered expedition. The senior most experienced of us, those that were still alive, were sent out with a sack full of devices to help cross the river and survive in hangdog's territory. Um, in the weeks and months that followed, they managed to bring back as many of our brothers as they could find. Things seemed to be getting better, but maybe that helped blinded us to the truth. Out of Cameron, miraculously recovered enough to walk without resistance, and our recovery teams were returning. I went out of the bunker with the elder to greet them, but something was very wrong. It had been worsening inside of them for a long for a time, but the recovery teams were suffering from overuse of the stealth boys. They didn't believe that the elder was alive, and after a tense argument, weapons were drawn. I couldn't believe my eyes when a paladin put around through the elder's torso. Our side fired back while the recovery team members began to scatter and fire wildly, not just at us, but even at each other. With the death of Elder Cameron and the scattering of most of our senior knights and paladins, I've become the highest ranking brother left. The expedition now succeeds or fails by my efforts. Check the decision stamps. Look towards a boulder dome to cure their condition. Regaining the lost members of our chapter would be far better than having to put them down. Can I do this? I have to. Good god, that sucks. We need to hold on. Not bad. The Oak Squad secures Walsh. Do we not have corn and everything? Wait. Bunker. Oh, wait. It's a colony state. Oh, look at that as a core. That's pretty nice. Uh, Amber team secures Truca Speak. Oh, do not have. Oh, that'd be nice, too. This would be better to do. How many days is that one? 15 days. We recover our might. Well, Amber team secures Truca Speak. Amber team was written off as MIA shortly after the retreat from Denver. Luckily, we've been rediscovered. Based out of the wrong bunker, a smaller pre war ration stock house in Truca Speak. Let me test with securing the territory from the bunker, then re to the army proper. 
Oak Squad secures Walsh. Oak Squad was lost, presumed dead, in the retreat from Denver. Recently, though, they've been starting to contact us on an old radio frequency. As it turns out, they simply diverted to secure us a cache of energy weapons on the way over. They'll be deployed to Walsh to secure the local air, then be reintegrated in the army proper. So we're losing a lot of divisions. Um, I'd rather have just the manpower soaked up into our reserves like that. And what do we have here? We actually don't have too much bad stuff. Get some gliders, too. So, come in energy weapons, scavenge PA, anti tank, some of that. We're not going to use this one, and get some caravan stuff. There you go. That's all I usually like to run. Um, circle of Steel. While our lost brothers have lost their minds, they have still all the training in a large reserve of stealth boys. Every once in a while, they'll be disrupted territory with random attacks. Ooh. Put on the circle, hunting them down and putting down our lost brothers will have a harsh impact on our morale, but we're constantly looking out for these outcasts we can. I'll uh, begin to look for ways to fill their loss in our ranks. Ooh. Put down the circle. More than 100 manpower. Oh, okay. Okay, that's not bad. The jury go around. Andrew wasn't sure what she was looking at. Ostensibly, it was a brotherhood of reconnaissance trooper, but judging from the reports, he was far more than that. And the retreat from Denver, him and a few other dozen men were separated by a raider ambush and ended up in the wrong bunker entirely. It was a pre-war ration stockhouse just south of Truca's Peak that had miraculously been mostly undisturbed since the bombs fell. So he and the men camped outside of it, got the bunker transmitter working, and put an SOS signal promptly discovery, prompting discovery by the rest of the expedition. That all seemed simple enough, but there were a number of peculiarities of the man himself. Firstly, his armor was heavily modified. Sporting bandolier, Satch was some kind of helmet mounted infrared scope and mounts for a ghillie's net. Secondly, he refused all requests at his actual name, and everyone he had led to the stockhouse revealed that they didn't actually know it. Even his holotapes had been tampered with only to display his favorite nickname, Outsider. Thirdly, was his manner of speech. He picked up something of a wastelander's accent and all the informal dialect that came with it. Whilst Andrew was lost in thought about the old odd man, he'd been standing at an increasingly uncomfortable attention. And anything else, Miss? Paladin Commander, she corrected. There was no Miss Brixley in this bunker. Sorry, Paladin Commander, the uh, only other issue is that we're going to have to do with the food. There's a ton of it down there. Sell to local merchants. Give it away to volunteers. Volunteers it is. Um, if we have all that extra stuff, hold on. So let's take a look-see. Do we actually have enough? 50 infantry equipment. Um, I kind of doubt it. If we don't have it immediately, that's fine as well. So we just need political power for that. So that's fine. So let's do that again, just in case. Save that manpower. And once we get the political power, then we can do that. Which would be nice. And we get about 0.82 every day, which is okay. Uh, bunker fortification. Scribe Industries. Oh, Walshian. Civilian industry, that's not bad. Uh, the Bulwarks of Steel. Oh. Southern Border Fortification. Western Border Fortification. We still have a mission. Well, recover our might. Our loss of equipment is egregious. And with no help coming from the West and our enemies on all sides, we can now wait long enough to recover our strength. All right, so when selected, we lose all, all that stuff. But when we remove, we get half the manpower back and some of the equipment back. We lose stability, but at least we get we lose basically five percent stability, get to percent of our population, which is okay with us. Um, we close out of this one. Propaganda efforts are not bad because we're still demobilizing, which sucks. There you go. Nice. Scorpion menace, huh? Or scorpions. Also, this is unhistorical, so we'll see what happens with this. Never lose it again. That's not bad, too. Punching through steel. War oh, uh, robot city. Well, I kind of want to go to the scorpion menace. Um, bordering raiders is a new circumstance for the Brotherhood. The other uh, is us taking them down. Pretty nice. Pretty nice overall. So, um, we only have five divisions. Raiders from the Summers Federation. Recently, some traders from down south in New Mexico arrived, claiming to be a Summers Federation. They offer technology and base materials in exchange for the survival knowledge and schematics. The deals they offer to be, tend to be in our favor, mostly since they do not seem to understand the importance and potential of the tech they have. So, we do not wish to deal with them. It's simply, it's simply a matter of keeping them from our, entering our bunker. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Brixley, it's not bad. Break off trade with them. So, it's similarly our prerogative whether or not we allow traders into our nation. Sour ties with self. Almost a lot, nice. Let's get that research speed. And better reinforce rate, coordination, diplomacy dip difference or distance, refugee assimilation factor. Very nice. Well, what do we actually have down here? Cultural advisor, keeping you afloat. Oh, that's interesting. Civilian envoy, lose money, but more population and stability. Civilian integration, that's not bad. 
even though he was some more, more support. He was too good for it. Point one. Um, I am a sucker for political power, so we might go with him. Thirst for knowledge. Not bad. Oh, that's alright. One track of mine. Back one civilization. As much as I like this one, Hetzgarib Armand. Talented but reckless. Ad Victorium. That's probably the one we want to go with. Voice Under Army. Burden of Strength. I like that one a lot. Work smarter. Recover our might. Um, Scorpion's Bite. We just have to do, make sure we deal with L Lanius. Violent guys. Oh, they have one in three divisions. That's not bad. That's actually really good for us then. Okay. Um, we go on. Punching through steel. Our expedition is a victory, and the robots of the so-called Robot City are a good target. Our force will need to strike swift and hard to succeed. Yes. Our second chance. Nice. And this is a focus street, too. It's not bad. I like how much, you know, there is to do, which is really kind of nice. Put down the circle, circle of steel. Put down a brother and sister, we find a way to save them. Well, we'll see. Running through your slots really does suck, though. We need to hold on. Our position here in Colorado is tenuous. While we can't afford to hide in our bunker and shut down the door, we can still uh, prepare the defenses in case of attack, which is very true. 12 procurement. We're going straight through if we can and just have our guys encircle them and kill them off that way, maybe. I do want to get more army XP and stuff, but if we do Aiden Young immediately, we'll get that extra political power just a little bit. We'll see. We definitely need more stuff here. Are we still demobilizing? No, we're not. Okay. Yeah, maybe we don't want to get rid of all the infantry divisions. Some of them aren't very good, but still. No means allowed, no undesirables, cams banned. You know, all the normal stuff. Keep you guys in place. As much as. Oh, crap. Time. I know if she, using if she to do this kind of sucks, but whatever. There you go. Good for army XP as well. Nice. Halfway there. Grab some of that. Grab some of that. Cedarwood, maybe Bastion, Pueblo City. Good. Very nice. Oh, hello. Screw it. Just give me that political power. No stability, didn't need it, you know, like normal. Sure, guys. What, Eureka doesn't want to help us? What? <laughs> nice. Well, I've done so well so, well so far. I've killed about a thousand of them, which is pretty nice. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Yeah, I kind of missed the capital. Thanks for sending guys lost hills. Thank you so much. Um, that's fine for now. Whatever. Watching south. Ranger ingenuity. Confiscation of resources. It's not bad, too. Ranger ingenuity first. The Scorpions were a gang focused on vehicular mobility, and their innovative methods of maintaining this advantage even shows our scribes some new tricks in using our own vehicles. Confiscation of resources. While the Wasteland is living under the rule of the Scorpions, no longer have to worry about paying tribute to them. We'll soon become those stockpiles of the gang's absence left with the technology that we consider dangerous in their hands. Buy down on scorpions. Patrol maintain settlements. Roads clear of raiders. We have stronghold over the territory. Very nice. Uh, that too. So, I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill these guys off, but they're big hang dogs. Um, do 
Maybe it'd be smart to attack him right now. Some, some of these divisions out, and then maybe we can. Set of roadblocks. Take a time, but a bit of time and a shifting of resources, but setting up roadblocks to prevent easy eggs will help us corner the scorpions. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. You know, why not? And why now not? we've gone to war with Robot City. I hope we can bust through here. There's no guarantee. They look very weak. But we might not be able to bust through. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. If we're not here, definitely over here. If we do that, we can make an encirclement, maybe. And that would be the nicest thing to have. Um, you know what? We're actually winning there, so keep, go back in. Because they, they look very weak. We should be able to get over there. We should, 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 should. I don't want to force the attack. Oh, he's even sick. Oh, come on, man. Bro, bro, what a time to get sick. As we're still setting up Roblox, which is fine, whatever. But, oh, hello. Just in time. Get over there, boys. And the Osos expedition showed up. Nice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Ouroboros. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We have no manpower, but what else is new? Oh, they threw another division in there, too. That sucks. We should still be able to get them, though. Greater ingenuity, of course, like we did earlier. Confiscation of resources. Because I want to get that core as fast as possible. Bite down on the scorpions, of course. If you want to do the game, please go ahead. And now let's take care of watching south. We have an expanded border. We need to extend our efforts to keep our territory secure. Come on, you guys got this. You got it. Even you might have it here, but... Desert Fox. Learn, learn, learn. Power armor. Power armor. Pain train. Yes. We have no more command power, though. Good, dang it. Bro, that sucks. 80s, ripe rolls. Come on, you got this. Oh, stop it, stop it, god dang it. This is for here. No supplies, it's not much, but you know, it's whatever. You know, we don't even make this division, we need that extra manpower, don't we? Do we or do we not? We could use a little bit of man more manpower. Word working, not bad. Manpower. Come on, come on, come on. Confiscation resources. Oh. Scorpions are destroyed. Scorpions have fled. Oh, crap. Um, let's, let's do this one. Walsh and civilian industry. Our initial expansion of the Walsh were minimal, besides approaching wasteland and settlements in the area. Now that we need a functioning civilian industry, it's time to put the effort into settling our interests up there. Oh, no. Yes! Oh, I thought we'd be in a settlement or something like that. It's not. Or just go here. You still might be able to break through here first. Maybe not. We'll see. They're throwing another division in there too, which sucks, but whatever. One, you know what? Let me get around here. Let's go for Robot City if you can. They threw three divisions there? My goodness. How many divisions do they have? Take down Outriders, some more manpower. Wow. it's a lot of loss. More manpower than 75. Power armor, infantry. God dang it. God dang it. I want you to hold. There you go, there you go. Dispute. Up on a rise, overlooking the eastern lines of... Uh, Walsh, Andrea, gazes through a pair of binoculars. Not that there's much to see, though from the reports, Walsh used to have at least some industry. Most of it hasn't been used for two centuries, but that's better than being obliterated by the Great War. Put the binoculars and handling them to the night next door, Andrea starts and turns and heading down to the hill up towards the tent. Pushing open the flap with a power-armored hand and stepping through, she sees a traitor Dan Rivers bent over a physical map laid out on the table with Proctor Erlrick sitting down next to him. In a progress, she asks the pair. Out of question, the two both turn their attention to her. Dan putting on his easy smile while Elric gets up slowly to salute his face and pass it. The Proctor speaks up first, plenty with Mr. Rivers' connections and our own scouting. We have the most important location mapped out with a plan in place for our takeover. Dan also speaks up saying, mostly have a plan in place. I'd like to ask why we don't move the people from the Walsh Steakhouse. They're comfortable there and you won't gain much of anything for moving them. Elric scoffs and counters, this is one of the largest buildings in town, of course we can gain something from it. Andrea says and asks, why is it issued to move them? We've already dedicated enough men and resources to restore the buildings in town, it's not like they'll become homeless if we move them. The sauce. Steak sauce, Andrea asks, raising an eyebrow inside her helmet. Dan nods and goes on, yes ma'am. 
The people living in that town, or living in that building, worship the sacred bottles I've done so for centuries now. Andrew stares at him, speechless. Elric asks in an exasperated tone, can't they just take the bottles with them? They can set up some shrine in the new houses, they'll be saying it. Dan shakes his head and taps the map of the finger. I know these people, Proctor. The bottles are behind glass up on race platforms. It's some sort of pre-war display. Taking them down from the current locations would be a blasphemy to them. Andrew puts a hand up to her helmet to think that isn't that big of an issue, but it seems to have Dan riled up. And Elric is unconcerned about anyone else as usual. But the Proctor's decision will overrule anything the traitor says Dan will keep arguing for this if he thinks it's the right thing to do. That always time, as strange as, as this is, it's not something he, she wants the two dwelling on, so she makes the decision for them. Then move them, we can work around them. Move them, we need the space. Ooh, this is definitely better. We need the space. That's definitely better. Good. Destroy, 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 destroy. Come on. They can mostly pierce us. Yeah, they can't pierce us. Yay, we got them. Ranchers. Yeah, we got some manpower. Your knights are definitely probably good knights. Hey, we got the map oh, some vampire now. Yay. Uh, so that's uh we got some wanna make some gliders. There we go. Power armor and infantry points. Well. We definitely don't have that right now. Maybe hey, we could pitch out these guys and we might. Maybe. Maybe he hasn't been fast enough, we can just go all around him. Steel. That's not bad. Never lose it again. Uh, widespread equipment and maintenance practices have been instituted from the bottom to the top. We can't afford that. It couldn't be our point of failure. Pretty much. Come on. Don't let him go through. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Oh my god. How much do we have to do to get rid of these guys? Yeah, just go up to Lamar. Just go up and around. Get these guys over here, too. Yeah, but they still have anti tank on them, so that's pretty decent. I'll just go to Warland and kill them all out that way. Nice. Should be there any second, and. Boom. We got him. Now, this might be a turn into a big issue for us later on, but whatever. God dang it. Ducky's calling. purpose of remains. Uh, I want Sivvy so badly, but we don't need any more resources. Gather the remains. Repurpose them. Makes more sense to gather them. Plenty of robots have been left deactivated or damaged either from the passage or the time or a conquest. We can gather the remains as he uses raw materials for our scribes to use. Go the roads. That makes more sense. Oh, actually, this one makes more sense. Many of the buildings of the robot city aren't in terrible shape with a little work we can clear plenty of indoor space to repurpose them later. Robot city no more. Robots no longer wander the streets of this destroyed city, and the surrounding settlements all are under protection. Gross it. That's why can't we get more guns? I'm trying to pass by the entire area, that's why. If that's the case. Um, we have a bit of political power now. Get these more, though. 
more and gives it more slightly more stability too, which is pretty good too. Restore our roads and industry. The area around Max and Blanc was remote, remote enough to not be hit by hard by the Great War, but still suffered from two centuries of neglect. Fixing the surrounding others will help us secure our foothold. Untap resources. When we counter the wall screens, we do not strip their settlements of dangerous tech. And we should certainly be more diplomatic about it with a reduced strength. Still, there are plenty of sites to uh, send our own teams to scam from as walls to supplement what we can from them. Underground workshops. Underground expansions into the wall structure will also produce more goods securely. Uh, let's see this one. I want to. Uh, yeah. The bowl works of steel. Our enemies will crash upon our steel. Shoulder to shoulder, we will not break. Scribe in industry consultation. Scribes have overseen the work of the way centers in our territory will help reduce the mistakes and improve the efficiency of our production. Research focus. Putting our scribes to work on a particular focus of our equipment will give us a clear advantage one way or another, and a larger budget won't hurt. Now that's either. taken care of. Uh, Andrew's decision to relieve Erlark. Okay, she hears a small exhale of breath before a smile creases his features. Yes, Paladin Commander, right away. Holding up her arm to bar his way, she stops Elric, who is moving from his desk to the arguing scribe, and say, We know we didn't, uh, I have enough to deal with as it is, Elric. Now is not the time to slack off, but we need every advantage we can get. The daily inspections will continue to improve. The Proctor's relieved expression turns to an exasperated one, but he salutes. Before saying, and before saying yes, Paladin Commander, I understand. Andrew watches as he moves off towards the subordinates before turning and making for the exit. Her helmet keeps her muttering private as she leaves. One down, six more to go. We still have a mission, though. With a successful conquest and emboldened by the lust for revenge, the Maxon chapter is back on his feet. We were able to do this one just because, like, I wasn't able to complete this one, so it sucks, but whatever. Um, we're going to go to doing this. Robots say no more. Robots no longer wanted. The streets beyond the streets destroyed the city, and the surrounding settlements are all under our protection, which is nice. Maximum bunker fortification. Upgrading the bunker's existing security and preparing defensive positions around it should help us repel a direct assault, which would be pretty nice, in all honesty. I'll scrap industry consultation. Research focus. Putting our, uh, I think I read this one earlier, but putting our scribes to work on a particular focus for equipment will give us a clear advantage one way or another, and a larger budget won't hurt research either, which is very true. That's not that at times, so we're going to do that one. Anyways, and our second chance, Robot City No More, so we got to wait for that one. Um, let's go to that one. Oh, Western Border Fortification. Reinforcing our Western Border to secure main territory. Southern Border Fortification. We're reinforcing our Southern Borders will, from future threats while we deal with them. Colorado. Oh, second chance. We'll not be beaten back this time. We'll take Dog City for ourselves, the ones who hold it down to the graves. Which is going to be very difficult to do because they're still in the Civil War, but, you know, by the time we get over here, it's going to be extremely difficult to fight them. So, honestly, we should be able to go to war with them now, but, you know, whatever. It, we're going to struggle a lot. Like, I'll be honest. We're just going to struggle a lot, lot, lot against them. So, we might have to use consequence for this. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Depends on which industry, manpower, and stuff like that we can gather up, but it is what it is. Um, but I think we're going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow. As we'll see what else we can do with this nation. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.